die, you monster. You don't belong in this world. Hello, everyone. And welcome to my first devlog of my new game, which is called Action Commando. Yes, I know. I suck at names, but I actually think, who cares? Maybe I shouldn't eat chips while I'm editing this. I just wanted to show you how the new non-inventory thing works. So the inventory is still here, but um, this is only for dev purposes. The player will not actually see the inventory nor have access to it. The first thing I want to showcase is the weapons. So if I pick up this machine gun, you can see on the shortcut selection, there is now two slots for each uh, section. If I pick up another weapon like the shotgun, you can see the weapon uh, that is currently selected will highlight. And if I pick up another weapon like the magnum, which goes into the same slot as the other pistol type weapon, which is the machine gun, you can see I can switch back and forth and use the same slot for multiple weapons. Yeah, this also works now with health, so I can pick up these health items and uh, the first thing will heal me, but the second thing will just not work. It says uh, health um, is full. I can pick up pistol ammo, and when I hit the limitation, it will just say, like, pistol ammo is full. If I wanted to change the amount the player can carry, I can simply change the, um, the stack maximum. And um, this also works with upgrade items. If I pick them up, they just auto use. In the final version, there will be like a pop-up window saying like, you got the dash boots or whatever. And the last thing I wanted to show is uh, with key items, um, there will be a like on the top of the screen, there will be like a list of key items that you pick up in the map, something like that. And for each map, all the key items will reset. So if I want to interact with this door, it doesn't work. But um, as soon as I pick up the keycard, I can just open it. As a little bonus, I just wanted to showcase how I make rooms. Uh, because I've been asked, and also I'm kind of considering turning this into a map editor, so tell me if you think the system is cool or whatever. If I wanted to add a room, all I have to do is I drag it into the map and I set the Z height to zero because I like to start all my maps on the Z level of zero. And then I just drag it into the position and uh, now I can add a door. So um, as you can see on this, on this panel, I can select um, different floors, uh, different walls. Um, I can add segments, basically. So if I press um, two times on the south wall, because this is the south wall of that room, um, I can add um, two segments, which right now do nothing. But then I can add a door to this. And now you can see there is a door. Now on the other room, uh, the big room, I add two segments to the north wall. So, as you can see, this door is not aligning at all. So, um, the, the way these rooms are made is always clockwise, just for my own sanity to know where I have to select which segment. So, um, I select the last segment of the north wall, which is the most right one, and I can set a fixed length to adjust the door where the position is just to make it line up like so and just for the sake of it i just repeat the process add another room um, to show how easy it is to make uh, walls with multiple doors um, and again segments can be anything they can be a hole and then you can add a new part of the room to that um, but you know same process align it um, set up the door and now I can select the big room again and to the north wall I just have to add two more segments because it's always a left, you know, it's the left part of the door, then there's the door part and the right part of that is already existent. So I can arrange that, add it to as a door um, and Bob's your uncle. Okay, now I can add doors. Uh, let's add a regular door over here, drag it into the map, just align it. And then on this panel, I can simply select which rooms are connected to this door. Uh, I can do the same one over here, just uh, to spice thing up, things up. I can select a activatable door. Um, activatables are objects in the world that can be, um, yeah, well, activated by switches or triggers of any kind. Now I add this. I can also um, 
change the color. I can also change the material over here if I want. And now let's add a switch. Now all I have to do with this is a similar process. I just select the door that the switch is connected to and that's that. I also have to hook up this door with the two rooms that it is connected to and that's it. Now if I play test this, you can see that I can just open these doors and everything works. So yeah, this is my little video. I hope you like it. Um, this is a different style I'm currently trying out. So please leave uh, your feedback if you like this edited version better. Uh, than my regular videos that I've made in the past. So I thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video.